Welcome back everybody to another Disney World four park challenge. I'm out here bright and early today at the Magic Kingdom to kick off what I'm calling the Pixar challenge. That's every Pixar ride, show, attraction, and character in all four parks in one day. This is likely gonna be my most difficult and most extreme challenge yet. And I don't think I quite know what I'm getting myself into. Why don't you guys come along? Let's go make some memories together. Now it's shortly before 9 a.m., which means I am rope dropping Magic Kingdom. And this actually isn't the most ideal park to start in, with the exception of one attraction. Because this park actually has the least amount of Pixar in all four parks. Now we are gonna hang right over here towards Tomorrowland. And unfortunately I am not a uh, Disney Resort guest today, so I can't take advantage of early entry, but I can kind of hang around until they start letting normal day guests through. But we've got two attractions over here, two of our three we gotta do here at Magic Kingdom. Now our first attraction of the day is going to be Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin, which is a shooter gallery style attraction where you get recruited by Buzz Lightyear for Star Command to help take down the evil Emperor Zerg. Now I am notoriously bad at this attraction, so let's see how well I do. You guys, that is the best I have ever done on this entire attraction. I am shook. I didn't quite make Galactic Hero, but I tried my best. Now, because today's challenge does include meeting characters, unfortunately, you can no longer meet Buzz Lightyear here in Magic Kingdom. He's only over at Hollywood Studios. This is where he used to meet, which used to have like a uh, Planet Z or um, the Star Command background. But unfortunately, no more Buzz here. But we'll definitely see him later. Our next attraction is just right next door with Monsters, Inc. Laugh Floor. This is an interactive comedy show where monsters at Monsters Incorporated are recruiting you to help fill up canisters full of laughter. Because if you've seen the original Monsters, Inc. movie, they switch from screams to laughter because it's more powerful. Kind of freaks me out a little bit because I don't like being picked on as audience participation. So I like to tuck myself at the very far back of the audience so that I'm completely just ignored. But you're never guaranteed to not be picked. And now, make some noise for your monster of ceremonies, Lady Mike Wazowski! Woo! Hello, humans! Ah! Uh... Oh, very good! Raise your hand high in the sky if you know where you live. Oh, goodness, I thought more people would know where they live. United. Ooh, United New Jersey. I love United. <laughs> United New Jersey, as everyone knows, is a gorgeous island in the middle of the South Pacific Ocean, famous for its white sand beaches and its Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Stuck to these two. <laughs> Gotta be careful. One of them broke out of jail recently. Check that out. <laughs> Jail name. <laughs> you know, every time I do that attraction, I forget just how witty those cast members are that do the show. They're so funny. Like, I genuinely laugh every time that I do that. Earlier, I said that I started here for one particular reason, and that was because of the Adventure Friends Cavalcade. That has Pixar characters in it that I cannot see anywhere else here in Walt Disney World. So that starts in just a few minutes. There's only two showings today, and there's no way that I could go to another park and then park hop over here and then leave again without having missed said cavalcade. So I'm gonna run and try and get to the front as much as possible because once I see those characters, I am bolting out of here. And then uh, we're gonna go to our next park after that. We're almost done with this park. I timed that perfectly, just like that, in and out. We've seen all six characters that are in that cavalcade. Now the two that you can't see anywhere else in Disney World are Merida and Miguel from Coco. So the other four, which were Woody, Jesse, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Incredible, you can find elsewhere over at Hollywood Studios. 
However, with today's challenge, since they were in a cavalcade, I'm counting that as seeing them. Everyone else I have to meet, but if I can see them in a cavalcade, a parade or whatever, that's what counts. So that check marks six of my multitude of characters I need to meet today. But that means we're done here at Magic Kingdom, which means I am gonna run over to Disney's Animal Kingdom. I will see you guys there. So the nice thing about Animal Kingdom is that there is more than Magic Kingdom. However, they're all kind of centered towards the front of the park, with the exception of the Finding Nemo musical, which the next showing for that is at noon. I just missed the 11 o'clock one. Also, I wanna clarify, I am not using any Disney transportation during this challenge. I'm taking my own car to and from each park just because I feel like that's faster than re relying on a monorail, a tram, a bus, a Skyliner. And there's also no Genie Plus today. I'm doing all of this just by standby, which doesn't make me very excited for Hollywood Studios. But where's the fun of the challenge if I'm using Genie Plus? So now that we're here, let's go become wilderness explorers. Hi there. Hi. I'd like to be your newest wilderness explorer, please. Oh so exciting. I okay. feel like I'm qualified. Well, first things first, we have to learn the call. Okay. Can you do it with me? I think okay. I can do it with you. Okay, well, if you can, can you give me a W? Okay. If not, you can give me three fingers. Like <laughs> we'll do that. There we go. Okay, now can you repeat after me? I sure can. The wilderness. The wilderness. Must be explored. Must be explored. Now, you're going to flap your wings like a bird. Okay. And go, caw, caw. Caw, caw. Can you give me a big, ah. <laughs> <Rawr. laughs> because you did such a great job. You are in your first badge, which is already in the book. Okay, you. perfect, love in that. the front of the book is a map that shows all of our badges. You can get as many or as little as you'd like. Okay. If you get all of them, you become a senior wilderness explorer. Ooh, okay. So, it's pretty exciting. Awesome. This is for you. Thank I have you. a pencil for you to take notes on everything you learned Thank today. Thank you. And one last thing, can't leave without your uniform. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. You're Appreciate it. Day. Thanks, guys. Well, look at that. It's official. I'm part of the Wilderness Explorers. I've actually always wanted to do this challenge. Now, this is a very lengthy activity that you can spend all day doing here at Animal Kingdom, but I am obviously, with time constraints, not gonna be doing the entire thing. I'm gonna go to one of the stops that's right over here near some of the other Pixar stuff and at least interact with one of the cast member, but I'm definitely gonna save this. And uh, let me know in a future video if you guys wanna see us do this, because I really, really, really love doing free Disney activities. So right over here, not too far from the Tree of Life, We've got the location for the first Wilderness Explorer that I'm gonna interact with, or I guess the only one I'm gonna interact with, and also some Pixar friends. There's Russell. Hi there, how are you? Fantastic, how are you? Doing well. What are we learning over here today? Uh, so this is our insect badge. So inside here we have our Huntsman spider friend. Okay. Uh, right Ooh, there, there he is, that's scary. So the Huntsman spider is a pretty unique one. So instead of using their web to catch their prey, uh, they use their speed. Okay. They are hunters in the name. Uh, so they are a predator. So this predator we can find all throughout the uh, south part of the U.S. We can find them kind of chilling on the sides of our houses and everything like that. We really do like these guys because they love mosquitoes. And all that we stuff. love that. Okay. Yes. Very cool. Yes. Thank you for teaching me. Anytime. I'll let you do the honors. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You too! Now this meet and greet for Russell is fairly lengthy and I know that he trades on and off with Doug. So I'm going to ask the cast member the most, I guess, economic way, the most fastest way to meet both in a short amount of time. Hi Russell! How are you? Oh, let's get a hug. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Look, I just became, I know, I just became a wilderness explorer. I know. <laughs> I just did the call. I'm kind of nervous because I don't know if I have what it takes. Do you believe in me? Okay, I trust you because you're the expert, right? <laughs> Can we get some photos together, friend? Thank you. Hi, Doug. How are you? I don't think we've ever met before. It's good to see you. Oh yeah, let me get a hug. Let me get a hug. Uh, thank you, Fred. Can I pet your nose? Oh, you're such a good boy. I will say I love your wagon setup you have here. You've got everything you need for the day. You've got your tennis ball. Oh, you've got your score. Oh, he squeaks. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Can we take a selfie together? Awesome, thanks friend. Well, that was a fairly quick meet and greet. I did have to hop back in line to talk to Doug, but it was very, very short, maybe about 10, 15 minutes total for both. But those aren't the only two up characters here in Animal Kingdom. I can't stand in line to meet them, but I see them dead ahead. It's Kevin and she is on the move. Oh, she's screaming, she's not happy. Kevin will always remain one of my favorite like character sightings or like character meet and greets just because she's so unique. So much better. Yeah, so much better. Hi, Kevin. 
All right, well, with talking to uh, Doug, Russell, and then spotting Kevin, we've seen all the characters here that I need to see. But I still have two more things I need to go do. I need to go see the Nemo show, which my timer just went off, so I'm going to go and head over to Dino Land and go watch that. And I saw It's Tough to Be a Bug, which is actually right next to where I just met Russell and Doug. So we're actually getting this park done very, very quickly. Finding Nemo the Big Blue and Beyond is a Broadway-style musical with larger-than-life puppets and original music not found in the Finding Nemo movie. It briefly retells the story of Finding Nemo and is actually my favorite show in this park, which is kind of a hot take. In the big blue world. my dad i'm all alone in the big blue world very underappreciated show in my humble opinion and that's not gonna be the last time we're gonna hear nemo music today well we got one final attraction here at animal kingdom and that's it's tough to be a bug so let's make our way back to the front of the park it's tough to be a bug is a 3d show underneath the tree of life based on a bug's life where flick teaches you that not all bugs are bad that's until hopper shows up now this is a show that does have some warning signs attached to it since it is dark and scary. And it's actually going away soon. They're getting ready to replace the show with a Zootopia show, which I am unfortunately very gutted about. Oh. Woo. Woo. No. Uh oh. No. <laughs> oh, 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 the water. What are these humans wearing on their heads? Oh, I'm not happy to worry about honorary. What? They're our biggest enemy. Maybe it's time you honorary bugs got a taste of your own medicine. Ah! <laughs> One of my most nostalgic memories of coming here to Walt Disney World as a child was coming and doing this show as one of our very first things on our day at Animal Kingdom. And I just have such a strong memory of coming here bright and early, going underneath the tree, seeing the show, and it just kind of like set the mood for the day because you're inside of the park's icon, you know? Very underrated show, and again, I'm very, very sad it's going away. I don't think Zootopia should not only be in that theater, but really has a place here at Animal Kingdom, but that's a whole can of worms for another day. We are done here at Disney Animal Kingdom. We have done everything on my list, which includes the shows, the characters, and so on and so forth. So we are gonna go hop back in the car and head over to Disney's Hollywood Studios for probably our biggest hurdle of the day. And that's Toy Story Land. I'll see you guys over there. Now, maybe surprising to nobody, but Hollywood Studios is gonna have the most out of any park we're gonna be doing today with a lot of characters, and especially, again, Toy Story Land. Even on a normal day, Slinky Dog Dash can get waits up to 70 to 90 minutes. So. This is definitely going to be the biggest chunk of the day where we're going to slow down. But other than that, we've been making great timing. I'm really, really impressed by how far we've made it so far today. Our first stop is going to be back here in Pixar Place, which is a little alleyway where you can meet a bunch of different Pixar friends like uh, Sully, The Incredibles, Frozone, Edna. Hi, Frozone. How are you? You look great. Now, are you keeping cool? It just got real hot real fast today. It's, it's real bad. Now, don't tell The Incredibles but you're my favorite municipal hero. I know, I know. <laughs> Can we take a selfie together? Awesome, thanks friend. 
Hello, Edna, darling. You look wonderful. It's been too long, friend. It's been too long. Now, I have a favor to ask of you. I don't know if you're designing currently, but I'm doing a Pixar challenge today. Will you design my celebratory outfit when I'm done with it? It doesn't have to be a super suit, but I'll let you get creative with it, okay? Does that sound good? Awesome, thank you, friend. Can we take a selfie together? Now, we've already seen The Incredibles over in the cavalcade, so we don't need to meet them today. However, we are going to wait until two o'clock when Sully comes back. Come on up. Hi, Sully. How are you? Oh, you look great. Can I get a big hug from you? Oh, thank you, friend. Oh, so big. <laughs> so we saw Mike earlier today over at the laugh floor. Yeah. Business is booming. Isn't it? it? You guys have done such a good job since changing over to laughter. It seems way more efficient. <laughs> now we're gonna head into Toy Story Land next because there is one more character we need to see and there's a brief bit of entertainment. Those are both very, very time, time strict for us today. We're gonna locate that entertainment, which is the Army Men, the Green Army Men Drum Corps, which they should be somewhere over near Alien Swirling Saucers, kind of. And just like with The Incredibles, I don't need to meet Jesse and Woody since I saw them in the Adventure Friends Cavalcade. So those are two characters I don't have to worry about the rest of the day. Also, Sienna tagged along for the challenge. Also, if you guys are familiar with Toy Story Land, I feel like I am being cooked alive right now. It got so hot, so fast. <laughs> Let me hear you say, sir, yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Uh, Y'all sound great. <laughs> Operation Have a Good Time has begun. Yeah. It's so good to see you. Yeah. Hey, so today I actually tried out four Star Command and I was almost a galactic hero. I was so close. I know, I need, I need to go redeem myself, right? Maybe you can come along with me, show me the rope, show me exactly how it's done. Yeah, I think it sounds like a good plan. Oh, secrets, oh. Why didn't I think of that? I know, I know. Next time, You'll next time, all right? Zerg yes, next time we'll defeat Zerg, together. Uh, I'm an official space ranger now. <laughs> Can we take a selfie together? Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> All right, well, with meeting Buzz, that is the official last character of Hollywood Studios. I'm actually going to be leaving Toy Story Land, and I know this is probably going to bite me later, but we're going to save those for later on the evening because we might be leaving and going to Epcot and coming back because I kind of forgot about Joy over at Epcot. Joy doesn't have any times in the app, but I know she meets over at the Imagination Pavilion. And if she's like the other characters, if they end at four or five o'clock, whatever, that might be when she ends. So it's a little after three o'clock now, which means we need to get over to Epcot and we might as well knock out everything over there and then come back and knock out Toy Story Land this evening. But before we leave, we're gonna go over to Sunset Boulevard and go to the Lightning McQueen Racing Academy. Lightning McQueen Racing Academy, it's a cute little show, mostly geared towards children. But you go and you meet Lightning McQueen and all of his closest friends and go on a simulated race. And it actually has one of the best animatronics, I think, in all of Walt Disney World. Here's a story of a car. It's the Cup Racing Rookie Star. End of the season went that far to a crazy three-way tie. Everybody say, Dad Gum! Dad Gum! Champion and Mater's best friend, 
was some introduction. Three, two, one, go! All right, it's always good to start with a practice lap. Warm up your tires. You got this, buddy. Remember, you don't need to know where you're going. All right, I just need to know where I'm going. All right, well, aside from the three attractions over in Toy Story Land, we're done here at Hollywood Studios. So we are gonna leave. We're gonna chance it. We're gonna go over to Epcot and knock out the stuff over there, which all seems fairly easy, with the exception of Ratatouille, which just like Slinky Dog Dash, even on a slow day, has at least an hour plus wait. But I think that's the smartest move, especially because we still need to go meet Joy. So fingers crossed she's actually still meeting. And uh, we'll see you guys over at the Experimental Prototype Community of tomorrow. Luckily with most of Epcot, a lot of our Pixar stuff is going to be over here in World Nature with the exception of a little bit over at the backside of World Celebration and then Mexico and France. Here we are at the Imagination Pavilion, but instead of going inside to ride the Figment attraction, we're going to go around this little side pathway on the side of the building to the exit because that's where Joyce Meet and Greet is. Hopefully she's in there. Ah, oh, good. She's here. There she is. In case you're wondering, she also shares the same room with Figment. Hi, Joy. How are you? Good to see you. You know, I am actually so very glad that you're here. We are meeting every Pixar friend today, and you are my last friend I need to meet. I saved the best for last. Yes, right? It's time to celebrate. Almost, almost. We still have a lot of other attractions to do. But you're my last friend I get to meet. Riley doing okay? All the other emotions doing well? Yeah. Keeping them in check. I know. Hopefully uh, these new emotions don't cause a lot of uh, turmoil. I know growing up can be very hard. I've been there before. I've, you know, I've been Riley's age. There's a lot that goes up in that noggin. <laughs> can we take some photos together? Awesome, thanks friend. Thank God she was there. I was very nervous that she was not going to be there because again, she is not listed in the app. I asked cast members over at Hollywood Studios. They knew anything about it. She is supposed to eventually be over at Hollywood Studios and Pixar Place, but that's not until next month for the new film to debut. So I, again, very lucky that she was here because I don't know what I was going to do if she wasn't available. Like if she wasn't available, she wasn't available. But if I like missed her, then the whole the whole challenge is over. But now we're gonna head upstairs to the Disney Pixar Short Films Festival, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's a short film festival with Disney and Pixar shorts, the ones that you see theatrically, you know, before the main film. Uh, we can't film there, but I will see you guys afterwards. A Little bit longer than I would have liked, but still very, very cute. If I had to pick a favorite one, it'd probably be Piper. That one's really cute. I love the little bird. Well, now we're gonna head over to the Seas Pavilion for our next three attractions. And of course, they're all Finding Nemo based. So instead of heading into the main building for the main attraction, we're actually gonna come over here to the exit of the attraction and enter the, the aquarium because there is a time-based attraction, another show that we need to go catch first before we do anything else. Looks like we've got about 15 minutes until crush. So uh, let's go do the other attraction that's in this pavilion. The other Nemo attraction in this pavilion is Bruce's Shark World, which is more or less just kind of a museum for you to learn about shark facts. It just has a nice Finding Nemo theme to it. We got more or less kind of a little playground in here. There's a big Bruce the Shark. Anchor or Chum? I don't know which one this is. It might be Anchor because he's got the little hook in his nose. Or maybe he's Anchor because he's a hammerhead shark. By the way, Bruce and his friends are in here. Now let's go find some shark facts. Let's, let's go learn a little bit about sharks. Did you know Sharks have been around since before the dinosaurs. One of my ancient relatives, the Megalodon, had jaws six feet wide. Well, thank God that doesn't exist anymore. Our eyes are up to seven times more powerful than yours. Also, kind of scary. Sharks do get a bad rap though. Sharks are actually really good for the environment. Over here, there's a chart that talks about why sharks don't want to actually hurt humans. It's got a whole list of different things like don't wear shiny jewelry, don't splash around, don't go in too deep. So if you guys are wanting to learn how to protect yourself when on the open ocean or just in the ocean in general, you guys can learn some pretty interesting stuff. This is very much classic Epcot with the edutainment aspect. Also a shark game you can click on Bruce's Shark Challenge where you answer some trivia. We won't be doing this today, but if you guys want to learn a little bit more, come over here and check it out. Challenge yourself. Turtle Talk with Crush is actually an attraction I've never done before, but I know it is kind of similar to Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor, where you go underwater and you talk to Crush and he asks kids questions, and uh, it's supposed to be really, really cute. 
And because I've never been in here, I didn't actually realize all this extra edutainment and information was available. So like you can see sea turtle nesting ranges, how to help with conservation with sea turtles, which is very important. I absolutely love sea turtles. They're one of my favorite animals. Just like over in Bruce's shark world, you can come over here and take a pop quiz to test your knowledge about uh, sea turtles and other sea creatures. So even if you don't wanna watch the show, you can still come in, see some animals, and uh, soak up some edutainment. Oh, no way, dude, look at all the humans in the human tank. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I was about to be like everybody but that one dude. Wake up, dude. <laughs> dude, how old are you? Whoa, you just hatched. That's <laughs> awesome. Dude, who brought you here today? Who brought you? Chilling with the rental. <laughs> now, if you dudes think you can help me out, everybody say, Chaw! Chaw! Awesome dudes, you so totally rock! Dude! Awesome. Sounds like somebody knows how to fuck on the turtle. <laughs> everybody say, Rip it! Rip it! Roll it! Roll it! Pump Punch it! Hey, oh, dudes, here I come, check it out! <laughs> <laughs> well, that was way cuter than I ever thought it was going to be. I hate that it took me so long to finally go and do that show. Definitely more geared towards children because he talked to a lot of kids, but very cute and just like Monsters Inc. Lab Floor, very talented cast members in that attraction. Well, why don't we head back outside to the front of the building and ride the pavilion's actual main attraction. The Seas with Nemo and Friends is not only the name of the pavilion itself, but it's the name of the main attraction. You hop on a slow moving clam mobile and you relive the story of Finding Nemo. They also use some of the same music from the musical we saw earlier today. And just like that, we are spilled back into the sea pavilion. There's the shark row where we were originally. And then over here is Turtle Talk with a Crush. I will say that took a lot longer than it should have. We stalled at least four times on there, which not ideal in a time challenge like this. I'm starting to feel a little pressured for time. We still have to do two more attractions here in Epcot, which are all the way back in World Showcase. And we have to do the other three attractions over at Studios. And it's a little before six o'clock, so we've got three hours to finish this <sighs> made it here to the very front of world showcase so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to go tackle the coco display one first in mexico and then make our way over to remy's ride to adventure over in france because we can always skyliner and or walk to studios which I, I think will be faster than having to come back and get our car because one of us drove over here with them and left their car at studios. I think that's a good plan instead of having to walk through all of Epcot all over again. Inside the Mexico Pavilion Pyramid, there are some wonderful displays, much like a museum, lots of Mexican artifacts and references to Dia de los Muertos. And because the movie Coco is entirely based around Dia de los Muertos, they tied it into Coco, which is actually my favorite Pixar movie. There's also this really cute kind of magic mirror thing where you can turn yourself into a Dia de los Muertos character. So let's do it. Hello, Hector. Oh, look, there's me. All right, uh, is, is there a bald one? Oh, actually there's an uh, option to go crazy. So we're gonna just let it roll and let it pick whatever it wants for us. So we're just gonna call it good. I'll show you guys the final image once I'm done picking everything. Oh, I do get to pick my background. I will actually pick uh, we'll take that one. All right, well now that's th that's me. It's not really tracking my image or everything. Oh, it's taking photos. Oh, now I can move. Okay, yeah, so you can actually get your photos from uh, the PhotoPass stuff. I don't have PhotoPass, unfortunately, but I'm still gonna save them. I wish I wasn't so pressured for time because I would have loved to actually spend a lot of time in there and look around. I feel like actually spending time in these pavilions and learning about the culture and history of the different nations is really like an underrated activity now, which is crazy because that's what Epcot was all about when it first started. So one of these days, I definitely want to come out and actually like look at all the pavilions and really soak up what each nation has and all their heritage 
and just all the culture and all that stuff. So let me know if you guys would watch that kind of video. Just a general exploration of every single pavilion. I think it'd be a lot of fun to do. Because every time we're here, we just do like food videos and not actually get to do the actual like pavilion stuff ourselves. So yeah, let me know in the comments. You guys see a little star? Little star right there? That's not a good sign. So record scratch, uh, Remy's is down. It's been up all day. Uh, we're still gonna head over there and see if we can wait it out, see if we can be one of the first people to jump in line, but that's not a good sign. That's uh, not a good sign. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and choose not to ride it. It's still down, no ETA obviously. It's 6.30. Whether or not it comes up the next 10, 15 minutes, we stood there for a good five or six and we're gonna make the decision to not ride it, unfortunately. So, it's turning into a numbers game? I don't know. So we're gonna go and head back over to Studios to knock out our final three rides. Dang, so close. Well, we have made it back over here to Hollywood Studios for our final three attractions we need to do as part of today's challenge. Now, we've not relied on any Disney transportation until the ride over here. We took the French trip boat. I'm tired of walking, y'all. I'm so, I'm so exhausted, but uh, We've got about two hours left, so let's go knock out these final three. Toy Story Mania is the second Toy Story based shooter attraction where we're gonna be with all of Andy's favorite toys in his bedroom and playing a bunch of mini games to see who can get the highest score. Alien Swirling Saucers is a cute little spinning attraction where you board one of the Toy Story Pizza Planet alien spaceships and they swing you around. Pretty simple, straightforward, but pretty fun. Toy Story Mania and Alien Swirling Saucers out of the way. We only have one more attraction to do, and that's Slinky Dog Dash. I've been looking forward to this all day. Slinky Dog Dash is an adorable family-themed roller coaster where you hop on the back of our friend Slinky Dog and race around Navy's backyard. Guys, we got so close today. We almost did every last Pixar ride, show, attraction, and character in all four parks in one day. And I am absolutely beat. If it wasn't for Ratatouille going down, we would have been able to complete it. But you know what, I'm still so proud of everything I got to do today, because I almost complete my most difficult challenge I've ever given myself. And it was a ton of fun, I got to do so many different things today, and my brain is just mush right now. If you guys haven't done so already, make sure you guys like our video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, the way you guys get updates on all of our future adventures, 
and let me know in the comments what crazy challenge you wanna see me do next. Disney Princess Challenge, uh, I don't know. You guys tell me what you guys want me to do and I'll go do it because I love challenges clearly. I subject myself to crazy stuff like this because that sense of accomplishment or coming close at least is absolutely just mm, chef's kiss. And as always, thanks for making memories with us. I've been Adrian. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye, Sweetie.